Thanks so much for coming. Steambot Chronicles. This is one groovy tale. Steambot Chronicles. Hello and welcome back Get to uh, Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. We're in the middle of a full game right now. I said uh, we can uh, play McD once a day for 200. Uh, and if we lose, we can simply reload the game and start again. On my practice run, I did a cannon shot and posted the 9 ball with the 1 ball on my second turn. This is not my practice run, however, I'm at, and I managed to, uh, yeah, I managed to play the entire game up until this point. Very, very slowly trying to do fancy cannon shots and pop the, pop the uh, nine ball early. Now we've run out of balls and we're on the nine ball, and I fail to pot it normally. As does McD, thankfully. I missed! Yes, you did. You're not very good at ball. That's lucky, that is, because neither am I. So this is a pretty good pool simulator, as whenever I play pool in real life, it ends up just like this. Ah. Hmm. I was hoping McD would uh, knock the ball off the table this time. Instead he just completely fails to... Spot a ball that's already in the pocket. Hooray, oh, oh dear. And we're safe. Yes, we definitely deserve a slow motion replay for that astonishing bit of pull action there. Now we're 200 er uh, richer, and our rank is now intermediate. Well, enough of that nonsense. Let's get to our trot mobile and get going to Vision Ranch. Have you read uh, the Neo Manufacturing book I posted up in the thread? You'll know that a Doctor Nutmeg is credited as the inventor of the trot mobile. This is the self-same Dr. Nutmeg that we're off to visit right now. Well, he's probably got a PhD in engineering, one would expect. He also was a physician at one point, so he's like a double doctor. Before we do that, we're going to head to the Nefroberg dump. Not 100% sure where the actual dump is, but this is the parking spot for it. The ruins of the museum there. Station, tower still intact. Did they fix that roof yet? And a chest. We came here for this. Terribly important that we pick up this bed. We're keep that in our pocket and head off to the Vision Ranch exit. Now, this ranch is separated from us by a canyon, a Wagtail Canyon. Have a bit of info on a Wagtail Canyon. This lovely loading screen we're about to enjoy. Wagtail Canyon was previously mentioned as a place that we can go fossil hunting. In fact, the only place in the game we can hunt for fossils. El Mondo of the uh, Nefroberg Museum wanted us to do that, but before we do that, let's talk to this flatbed salesman. We've already got a flatbed, why would we want another one? Simply because we can combine them together into a wide flatbed, which will allow us to uh, carry more stuff. I pick up a flatbed and also a light grill, believing foolishly that the light grill is a new type of grill that I do not have. Hoping to uh, 
pretty up the front of the megas with something new. Or we can uh, actually make the wide flatbed, we have to de equip the current flatbed. Removing that caused us to lose a bit of health and fuel, which we were reimbursed for. Combining two flatbeds into the wide flatbed costs us a hundred uh We're getting a little bit lower money now. She would not have been able to afford that wasteful light grill if I hadn't won that game. Ooh. Our weight ratio is getting a bit higher now. At some point we're going to have to get some sturdier legs. Not today though. Today we're fine. Before we head into the canyon, let's have a look at these railway workers. The guys at the station mentioned they were building a uh, railway out to Vision Ranch. Hmm. But the uh, illegal fossil hunters are bothering them. Thus their essential supplies cannot get through to uh, Vision Ranch where they're currently building the railway. They seem to have already built the railway through the canyon, which is a very good thing because this canyon is completely uh, unnavigable without a prop wheel. And uh, what is this thing? Cannon arms range. A little disappointing sometimes. You can't really read it very well, but this is a yes, centimotive sort of walking centipede sort of a robot thing. This is one of the illegal fossil hunters. Their method of illegally hunting for fossils is to have a gigantic drill machine. I don't know. Seems a bit silly. Not sure if much will be left of those fossils, but then again, our method of fossil hunting isn't, isn't going to be uh, any more delicate, let's, be, let's just say that. Have a look around this wonderful canyon. We need to pay attention to uh, the fact that the only way to get through this canyon by walking across that lovely new bridge that's only recently been built. They've only recently started extending the railway this way, or by jumping up a load of steps in a Cropmobile. There are even a few uh, broken bridges around. You see there's one. I'm not sure why they're broken. Sure, I can think of one reason from a gameplay point of view, but it doesn't really make sense. I might as well not have been there at all. These sentimotives are pretty annoying, they can take a beating and a lot of the time they are not vulnerable due to being, well, through their little hidey holes. Also each segment seems to uh, drop money and fuel, so the uh, more of them that's in a tunnel when you kill them, the less money you will get. Also, killing this guy when he's not in the tunnel is completely impossible, he just moves back and forth between these two places. So where the uh, first empty motive we destroyed on the uh, tracks at the start gave us um, about 50 er. these guys are going to be lucky to give us 20. So there are only uh, 4 empty motives lying around and I'm completely failing at using the dash attack there. Maybe I should just shoot it, that does more damage anyway. Or maybe it doesn't. We definitely want to deal with these guys. As we have officially got an excavation license, we don't want them stealing any of the lovely fossils. We shall come to collect ourselves. So we've only got 
tenor out of that one. Because only one segment was outside. Already used a third of our ammo on the cannon arm. Luckily there's plenty of pit stops on the road up ahead. I say plenty, there's one pit stop on the road up ahead and we're not even going to go to it. There's a rookie fossil hunter, or tell us attacking stratums and gets us stuff. So our method of mining, punching the wall, and it gives up its fossils. We want to load as many rocks as we can. Three loads of fossil, yeah. We will see uh, later on, back in the next video. Fossil hunting can be quite a good method of getting money. Unfortunately, it's not an infinite method. Uh, yeah, so many fossils we can actually get. We will eventually run out. It'll take us a long time to do that, though. The whole. Uh, Oh, Jesus. Well, that didn't plan out very well. Attack in the back. We'll get it this time. We've got a smaller rock. We'll totally get it. Just got to wait for it to come out again. Can't stay underground forever. Maybe it can actually. Maybe they got some sort of breathing equipment. Oh well. Hmm. Not 100% convinced that this rock here is going to have any fossils in it. Is it going to come out? Probably not. Oh well. Oh, oh, oh! There it is, yeah! Picking things up and throwing it is a really, really good way of uh, killing things in this game. I must point out that it sucks that each of these uh, money icons only gives us 10 earth. The killer elephants were dropping ones that gave you 20 in the uh, last time we fought with them, but I don't think we'll be seeing them for a while. And across the broken bridge, where each of these uh, miners are mining, sorry, fossil hunters are fossil hunting. There are several uh, stratums that we can attack, I believe. Maybe not that one actually. We can only carry three fossils at the moment. And I think we can only carry three fossils maximum at any one time. Don't remember there being a uh, wide, wide flatbed. Looks sort of precarious and overbalanced. Very worth noting we carry a total of eight carpets on this. I think we could carry more if we had a stronger Crotonville. That uh, pin for my crop would point it out, there are several leg models available in types and sizes. Some of them we're going to have to uh, develop ourselves. We've got about 200 er uh, to our name at the moment, so we won't be doing very much. Uh, Part buying or developing for the near future, though. See the uh, railway bridge there? It's a little bit precarious on that corner. Hmm. And some sort of weird red thing. That's where that guy down there was uh, talking about having a big discovery soon. I'm going to pan out here. Let's get up here and follow the tracks. into Vision Ranch proper.
You know, Dr. Nutmeg, inventor of the Trotmobile. If you hadn't read Neo Manufacturing, that would be a new bit of info for you right there. You wonder how Vanilla knew that. Maybe he's remembering stuff from his previous life before he had a terrible boat crash and lost his memory. Vision Ranch is quite a nice little area, lovely and calming. We'll be back here at various points in the game. Here we can see the railway being built. They've uh, really finished the rails to be honest. Mostly, I mean, they've gone most of the way, they've done the difficult bits of all the bridges. All they need to do is build a station because this is Vision Ranch. And what do they uh, breed here at the ranch? What do they keep? We head over here, we shall see they keep sheep. Here's a sheep ranch. Ah. Uh, Here's something you might miss. There's a little guy here, Eric, who would like to sell us some fresh sheep milk. He would like to sell us an industrial quantity of sheep milk. That is a, a place where you can actually buy milk as a good, as a commodity. Also, Vision Ranch bus stop. How do the buses get here? I don't know. Maybe they have Trotmobile buses as well. Anyway, buying milk from that guy requires having a uh, tank as your back piece, your back frame. We've got a tank, but we don't have it equipped, so we can't buy any milk. Besides, we're already transporting fossils. Let's have a quick look around this sheep farm. Got a broken down Trompeville. Can't imagine what they'd actually use a Trompeville for when they keep sheep. They've got no uh, crops that need. Oh, careful. Mad sheep. Give that one a, a wide berth. There's a little bit of industry in the background there. We'll go and see that in a minute. First of all, let's go and uh, bother some farmers. Ooh, a chest. No, no, no. Let's have a look in here first. Some cheese on the table. Doing some knitting. The little brother would be the... Uh, Kid, we just almost didn't buy some milk from. If we went into that room there, we'd see there's a total of five beds. Well, three brothers, a mother, and whoever this guy in the next room is. Also, sombrero. My excitement to equip the sombrero, I press start instead of a triangle. That's not how you get to the menu. Yeah. Ariba, Ariba, Underlay, and all that sort of jazz. Once again, the farmers' wives are very suspicious of us when we wear hats from chests in their houses. Villa doesn't care though, it's his sombrero now. Sheep's cheese. Oh, that is an unpleasant noise. Free cheese, though. This guy wants to send us some cheese. I feel sort of rude if I don't buy anything. Let's buy some sheep's milk. 
it's actually much much cheaper than not sheep's milk, regular milk, cow's milk which we could buy at the Nephro Bakery earlier and for talking to that guy we have obtained the sheep plate we are well on our way to having all the license plates in the game by which I mean we've got four of them I'm actually missing one because I haven't actually done the tutorial in this current playthrough. Lovely uh, silage towers. Nothing back there apart from those things. Each of the uh, four doors, two on each tower, will give us the same response. So let's board our Trotmobile and uh, pro speed run ourselves over to the dock side area by the looks of things. We don't hit any sheep. Boosting sideways seems to be the fastest way to move in the game. As with a lot of games, I don't know whether it's just because it looks faster when you move sideways rather than forwards, or whether it's actually faster because that's a dodging move. Anyhow, Got a lovely little pier area here, complete with crane and a ticket office. Seems a bit deserted. It's up there after the killer elephants too. No ferries today. Because of giant monster fishes. Fair enough. Well, we can't uh, catch the ferry to wherever the ferry would go, because it's been eaten by a fish. You uh, look carefully, you might be able to spout, make out a couple of islands in the distance there. Very indistinct, very far away. This is quite a large lake, actually. A little fenced off portion around the. Uh, over there. So no trespassing sign that simply says stop. Don't uh, don't jump over there. You'll drown. But then I haven't exactly had any uh, good experiences with boats recently, so it's just as well there's no ferry left to take. Let's head up the hill here. Wasn't well, that nice? They actually sort of trodden down a path for us here. Wonder why that would be. Good luck, bro. This time for sure. Here I go. No. Oh. oh dear. Oh, it's still in one piece. Thank goodness. Isn't that a blessing? Hey, kid, are you all right? Yes, yes there is. That's why we're here, in fact. Hey kid, sorry about that. I bet We've you are. We've been trying to create a flying truck movie. Name's Otto. I'm the pilot. The mechanic's my little brother, Willie. I'm Vanilla. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's ours. <sighs> if only Trotmobiles flew through the sky like birds. Stop that. That'd be great. Actually, that would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'd love to fly someday. Haha, <laughs> see? This kid knows where it's at! As you can 
see the experiments could be going better. Maybe flying trotmobiles really are just a fantasy. Ah, I wish Dr. Nutmeg would help. He's the father of trotmobiles, you know. I do. He's in the book and everything. For him, right? Most people around here are. He's in that nutty looking building over there. But around this time. Well, let's try raising the speed of the wing flap. You just wait, kid. One day, we'll be soaring through the sky in our masterpiece, the Flap Flyer. Ah, uh huh. Well, Otto and uh, Willy here, obviously based on Orville and Wilbur Wright, the famous Wright brothers, the inventors of the first powered aircraft, living next to this uh, world's uh, Henry T. Ford up the hill there. Their current design is a bit rubbish, I mean, flapping wings, a propulsion system based on running with legs. What is this? This is just silly. Also of note, they have a uh, flatbed equipped for some reason. Not sure why that's an essential part. But whatever. Well, they're based on the Wright Brothers. The flapping wing method of propulsion they've got here is more reminiscent of earlier aviators like Sir George Cayley. Who uh, briefly experimented with flapping wings before he perfected his actual glider design? So George Cayley was the apparently the first person to uh, send somebody up in a uh, light aircraft, obviously an unpowered aircraft. His uh, chauffeur, I believe, he sent up. He uh, apparently quit after the test flight. Thing he was hired to drive, not hired to fly. No sense of ambition for that man. Anyway, here's where we finally reach our destination. This wacky looking building is in fact Dr. Nutmeg's house, as said previously. Let's park up and go and meet him. See if you can cure. Vanilla's Amnesia. She's got the sadnesses. Internal ones. Oh, she's a little ones. depressed. Oh. Hmm. I don't blame her after chicory. So, how's Dandelion doing? Uh, uh. He's the baker at the Nephro Bakery, isn't he? No, I think that's Charlie. Oh, you don't know him. Never mind then. you unconscious on the beach and you don't remember anything I remember the beach well then let's have a look at you don't look at me like that I'm a skilled physician you know please answer the following questions with yes or no do you feel tired always yes are you irritable maybe yes the same as the first one. Yes. 
Are you often angry? Yes. Yes. Do you have trouble operating trot mobiles? No. No. Hmm. I see. You're accumulating fatigue. Just eat healthy and get plenty of rest. Okay, now for your memory. Think back. Can you remember anything? I remember eating grass all day. I got it! In your past life, you were a sheep. But that doesn't answer who you are in this life, does it? I have no idea when your memory will start coming back. You'll just have to be patient. can't fly. I didn't design them that way. Hmm. Is that your truck mobile? I can tell you've been fighting. You ran into some bandits, did you? They ran into me. I really hoped that truck mobiles would be used to make people's lives easier. But I guess using science to help mankind is only in the movies. Trotmobiles are machines. They can be good or bad. It depends on the rider. I wish I could change that, but it just isn't possible. Anyway, back on track. Come back if you start to feel sick. You don't need a letter next time. Oh, and you should take this since you're here. It's Rosemary's medicine. It was Rosemary. Let Connie know I said hi, and have her stop by every once in a while. Sure thing. Alright, oh, that makes sense. Well, before we go, let's have a look around his house. He's got a uh, quite extensive garage here. Makes sense as he uh, designed and built the first Trotmobile. I wonder if he gets any royalties for that. This guy must be quite wealthy. Wealthy enough to just leave trumpets lying around for anybody to take. So a bit of a better look at those islands in the distance there. Someday we'll go there. Just like the uh, farmer's wives, Dr. Nutmeg knows it when you take his instruments. We definitely want to get the uh, trumpet because it is the easiest uh, instrument to play in the game. Makes it a high score. In certain sections, very easy. You can see he was uh, busy building trumpets. And he's friends with uh, Connie and her band, of course, because he's a master instrument maker, as well as a doctor and an engineer. Nice blueprints and stuff on the wall. That makes you wish that the game was a uh, higher definition. Like maybe there was a PlayStation 3 sequel or something. Wouldn't that have been nice? Well, that's it for today. Join me tomorrow as we return home.